and welcome back to another Juno New Origins video. This time we are doing contract number 15. It is named Luna Flyby and it is going to be the first time that we are going to another body, Luna. And watch that, we get 30 million dollars for completing it. So let's start off with an upper stage and we choose a radius of 0.3 meters for that. It's going to be vacuum optimized of course and then we continue with the second stage that's going to be 0.5 meters in radius and we optimize it for approximately a height of 10 kilometers above sea level and last but not least, we have the first stage. We go with 0.5 meters there as well, and it's going to be a solid fuel stage. And this is the first time that we launch from our new Ali pad, because we are higher than 10 meters. And so we did reach orbit and now we need to burn prograde to escape the Gru sphere of influence and intercept with the Luna sphere of influence. Oh no, we did not research maneuvers yet, so we'll just have to eyeball it from here. Let's just burn prograde to first escape the Gru sphere of influence and then correct mid-flight. So to get a proper intercept we just burn radial out to fix our trajectory. And we have successfully reached Luna Sphere of Influence. Let's enjoy the view real quick and then finish the mission. Wow! That is 150 tech points and 24 additional million dollars in our pockets. Ka -ching. Let's go and invest those tech points. We really do need to plan maneuvers in the future, so let's get the Gunt Charts tech. For our future crafts, we will definitely also need more than three stages, so let's get the overcomplicating things tag. And last one that we can afford, farther out targets need more power, so let's invest in the last tech point here uh, for bigger and better engines and get the old school tag. As always, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and see you in the next video. Bye bye!